culture of charity is a new term, and it's not a term that's floated around easily up here. And employers are starting to see the value of culture of care. Before it was produce, um, come in early, stay late, don't ask questions, don't complain, don't seek support for whatever it is you need for your health and your wellness. It was just get to work and produce. Mm -hmm. Great bonuses, earn lots of money. And next thing you know, we have sick employees who are taking time off work to recover. When we start talking about culture of caring, we're starting to bring the onus back on more partnership driven work where it's not like do as I say and, uh, and keep your mouth shut. It's more of a partnership where they're working together, they're communicating, they're being more productive and ultimately they're being safer. And that's what it is for being safe and healthy in the workplace. And then we can generate more revenue for the company. So a caring culture is, to me, is a no-brainer. It's, it's common sense. And I've worked in industries years ago where there was no culture of care, and I really didn't enjoy going to work. I wasn't a really good employee. That was, I knew they didn't care about my health and well-being. And I think back to recruiting and, and maintaining good staff, if they feel like they're being cared about they're more valued, they're gonna stick around a lot longer. They're gonna to commit a little bit more to their work and to the company.